you will literally experience the improvement in your logic building skills. You will just know which algorithm or data structure is required in the problem by just reading its statement. Hey what is up everyone my name is Sagar and we are back here with another video and in this video we will be talking about an entire roadmap for data structures and algorithms. If you don't know anything about data structures and algorithms, if you have just basic understanding of some programming language, you can still watch this video. Or let's say even if you are not comfortable with any programming language, you are still recommended to watch this video till the very end. Because we will be starting from the very basics like pseudocode, syntax, input output to the very advanced data structures and algorithms so that you can clear any coding interview rounds. So this video is for you, even if you don't know anything about programming. We will be starting from the very basics, from choosing a language and learning that particular language along with all of its data structures and algorithms. And the most important thing is to learn all this in a right manner, in a right path. Like which data structure you should learn first so that you can easily understand others. And in this video, I will be sharing the best DSA roadmap that you should follow to clear any coding interview. But wait. How am I so confident about all this? How can I make an entire course while I am still in second year of my college? Am I even eligible to teach? You will get your answer in the course itself. Nice. So I created this roadmap because I used it. I literally aced data structures and algorithms by following this roadmap. I have not picked it from anywhere. I created it by myself. And you won't believe I have already sold around 900 to 1000 DSA questions on online platforms. You can just check out my all coding profiles, links are there in the description below. I am so confident about this course and this roadmap because I will be sharing my strategy to learn and understand all the things. And after some time you will definitely feel the improvements in your logic building skills. So talking about the first thing that is choosing a programming language. So in programming language, the most popular one when we are talking about data structures and algorithms are CPP, Java and Python. The first thing, in order to learn C++, you don't need to learn C. So that is just a misconception mostly beginners have. So according to me, which language is best to go for data structures and algorithms? The clear cut answer is Java. Why Java? Because in C++, there are some concepts that can be difficult to learn for a beginner and mostly beginners have an urge to deep dive into those concepts. But doing this in C++ can be demotivating for them because they can just understand those concepts when they are beginners. And now talking about Python, no doubt it is a very easy to learn language. But there are a lot of hidden details or you can say there are so much abstraction layers. That is why Java is my recommended language. Okay. I have already made a video on this topic, so if you want a complete comparison of all the popular languages, do check out this video. So without making any further ado, let's get started. So here if you are just starting programming, you don't know anything, you can just start by writing and understanding some pseudocode. And you can also solve some small small problems like uh, printing numbers from 1 to 10 or any other that kind of stuff. So first of all we will be learning about the basic syntax of java language and after this we will be learning about data types and variables. And after that we will learn about user input and typecasting like uh, how you can convert some integer value to floating value and vice versa. And after learning this we will be talking about operators. As you can see there is a cool flowchart I just found it on the internet and pasted it here. So we will be learning about arithmetic, bitwise, logical, assignment and comparison operators. And after learning operators, we will be talking about maths and bit manipulation. And after that, we will be learning about conditional statements. I will be teaching you everything in detail how and why you should use this in your algorithms. So after this, we will be talking about switch statements. And I am also going to teach you the difference between conditional statements and switch statements. And I am also going to tell you in what condition you should use if else or switch statements. So after this we will be learning about loops and nested loops. And here we will be also doing pattern questions. Because after doing these questions your logic building skills are definitely going to improve. And after you are comfortable with loops we are gonna learn about arrays and 2D arrays. 
and in arrays we are going to learn about searching linear search binary search and basics of sorting and i forgot one thing that we are going to learn and practice problems on two pointer algorithm and after arrays we are going to learn about strings we are going to learn everything in detail so after learning about strings we are going to do analysis of algorithms analysis means understanding the space and time complexity of some algorithm so here we will be talking about worst case best case moderate case time complexities and big o notation and all and as you can see there is a star which means now you are comfortable with programming after doing all these stuffs wow and after that we will be talking about object oriented programming it is a very vast topic that we can create a whole playlist on this so we will be talking about objects classes interfaces functions constructors some important keywords and the four main pillars of oops that are inheritance polymorphism abstraction and encapsulation and after learning concepts of oops we will be moving ahead to the recursion basics and i am pretty confident that i will teach you all this in a very easy way because we will be doing things like what is this and then why to use this and then how you should think and use them and we will be also doing some practice problems along with the concepts that we are learning it should not be like that you are just watching the video and skipping the problems thinking that you don't need them anymore you just master that thing see if you don't want to practice just leave everything right now but if you seriously want to master dsa then practice practice and practice this is the must so after learning about recursion we will be moving ahead to collection framework but if you are working in c++ you can refer to stl in collection framework as you can see there is a huge flowchart we will be learning about list queue set stack and everything and after learning this we will be moving ahead to maps and heaps i will teach you everything in detail about hash map enum map linked hash map weak hash map or tree map and now there is another star or we can say checkpoint which means that after this point you are comfortable enough to start your development journey that doesn't mean you can't start it earlier you can start whenever you are comfortable and just learn the things on the go So after this we will be learning about sorting. Here we will be deep diving into concepts of sorting and also solving some advanced problems in it. So after this we will be learning about trees. Now that is going to take time. There are so many topics in trees like binary tree, binary search tree, avian tree, red black tree, trees. We will be talking about everything. and after that we will move ahead to graphs there are so many famous algorithms of graphs and we will be learning everything in detail and after that we will be doing advanced recursion and backtracking there are so many famous problems that we are going to solve along with this course and after that we will move ahead to greedy technique and after learning greedy we will go for dynamic programming so will that course ends after dynamic programming No there are so many important questions and algorithms that we are going to solve along with this course so this is the best dsa roadmap for placements now that seems familiar to you because everyone says that but i can assure you that this is going to be the best dsa course to improve your logic building here we will be more focusing on your logic building and thinking skills rather than just cramming the algorithms like you do in your colleges You are going to get practice problems in every single video and I will be also solving those problems by showing you how the whole process of approaching to some problem works so the things are going to be on the next level and in this course language is not going to be a barrier we are going to teach everything in that way so that you can understand all the concepts with any language one thing that you should always do is to make notes of the things that you are learning even if you are not going to follow this course you still need to make notes of the things that you are learning as you can see these are my fair notes for java and this one is for python and i also have one notebook for my algorithms as you can see here before starting to code you need some setup environment 
लाइक कंपाइलर एंड आईडी और जेडीके फॉर जावा एंड मीन जी डब्ल्यू फॉर सी और सी प्लस प्लस एंड सो ऑन एंड इन दिस कोर्स वी आर गोन यूज इंटेलिजे आई डी फॉर जावा आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू वेस्ट एन एंटायर वीडियो ऑन द इंस्टॉलेशन प्रोसेस इज यू कैन जस्ट गो टू गूगल एंड डाउनलोड दिस थिंग्स एंड इफ यू आर हैविंग एनी एर यू कैन जस्ट सर्च ऑन द यूट्यूब and don't worry if you don't have any laptop you can still download some application that will compile your code i myself got my laptop in second year i have already gone through these phases so that's not an excuse and the one thing that i want to clear is if you are consistent and solving problems i can guarantee you that after completing this course you can easily crack any coding interview how because there are only limited type of problems that are available out there and all the companies use this same application and make some story around all these particular types and in this course we are going to learn all these type of problems in detail and i am telling you once you completes this course you can easily solve any easy to hard problems you will literally experience the improvement in your logic building skills you will just know which algorithm or data structure is required in the problem by just reading its statement So do share this video as much as possible and let everyone know that amazing things are on their way. So now wrapping up all this, do like this video if it helps you and subscribe to our channel if you want to get notified for the course updates and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>